In this lecture, we will find out factors of composite number. If you remember, composite numbers are the numbers which are not prime. Prime numbers are the numbers greater than 1 and are divisible by 1 and itself only. For example, 3 is a prime number because it is greater than 1 and is divisible by 1 and 3 only. On the other hand, 4 is not a prime number because it is divisible by 1, divisible by 2 and divisible by 4. As it is not a prime number, it is composite number. We can also define composite numbers as the numbers which can be factorized into prime factors. We have knowledge of factors, but what is prime factor we have to understand with the help of one example. Let's say the number is 8 and I can write 8 as 2 multiplied by 4. 2 and 4 are the factors of 8 but this 2 is prime factor. Why it is prime factor? Because 2 is prime number. So this is prime factor. If a factor is a prime number, we will call it prime factor. If a factor is not a prime number, it is simply a factor. Like 4. 4 is not a prime number. We have already seen. So this 4 is not prime factor. And in order to find out factors of composite number, we have to break the number into prime factors. So this is not what we are looking for. We have to break 8 into prime factors. All the factors must be prime. So 8 I can write as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 or 2 raised to power 3. Now we have one factor 2 and this is prime. So all the factors are prime factors and this is what we are looking for. And the index of 2 is 3. Now I will generalize this composite number is equal to let's say the first prime factor is x1 and the index is y1 the second prime factor is x2 with index y2 the last prime factor is xn with index yn now this x1 x2 and xn are nothing but the prime numbers x1 x2, xn are prime numbers and y1, y2, yn are their respective powers. Okay. We can easily find out prime factors of a composite number but we want to find out number of factors for composite number and this is equal to y1 plus 1 multiplied by y2 plus 1 multiplied by yn plus 1. This is what we have to do. We have to find out the indexes of the prime factors and we have to add 1 and multiply them. Let's take one example. This will be more clear after solving one example. Let's say we want to find out number of factors of composite number 18. I can write 18 as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. 2 and 3 are definitely prime numbers. So we have 2 raised to power 1, 3 raised to power 2. So y1 is equal to 1 and y2 is equal to 2. So number of factors is equal to y1 plus 1 multiplied by y2 plus 1. y1 is 1, so 1 plus 1 and y2 is 2, so 2 plus 1. This will give us 2 multiplied by 3 and this is 6. So there are 6 factors of number 18 and let's try to find out these factors. First factor is definitely 1, second factor is 2, third factor is 3, fourth factor is 6, fifth factor is 9 and last factor is 18 itself. So this is how it works. Now we will move to next example and in this example let's say the number is 120. We have to find out factors of 120 and again we have to factorize 120 into prime factors and we will have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 or we can write it as 2 raised to power 3 
3 raised to power 1 and 5 raised to power 1. Number of factors is equal to 3 plus 1, 3 is y1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1 y2 and y3 both are 1 and this will give us 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 and it is equal to 16 so there are 16 factors for 120 and you can definitely find out these factors like we did in this case for 18 and this is all for this presentation this is simple three step process first thing is to find out prime factors second thing is to increment the indexes by 1 and finally multiply them this will give you number of factors for the given composite number. This is very important topic and uh, there may be question in your exam on this topic. So remember this formula and use it directly. This is all. See you in the next one.